Hi guys! In this video, I am going to show how you can use a useful tool in ANSYS Fluent. As you know, it is difficult to separate a boundary condition inside ANSYS Fluent into multi -volts. For example, you have a valve boundary condition that has been important from your meshing software. For divided this boundary condition into two different valves and set different conditions to them separately, you must go back to your geometry modeler and then mesh it again. Here, I'm going to separate this valve into two different valves in ANSYS Fluent without going back to the geometry modeler and mesh it again. Anyway, first of all, you have to know your geometry and its dimensions and the coordinates that the new boundary condition needs to be separated. Then, you need to create a region of separation to show to the ANSYS Fluent that where the boundary condition must be separated. To do so, you need to make a region that has conjunctions with your wall boundary condition for separation. The Y coordinate of this region, I mean Y min and Y max, are important to be exact, but the X min and X max just be lower and greater than the X coordinate of your right wall boundary condition separately. So, with this definition, you can make a region that its inside area should be useful. The next step is to separate uh, your wall boundary condition, I mean the black line, with this uh, created region. So let's start with a simple 2D geometry. As you can see here, I have a rectangular with the height of 30 cm and the width of 15 cm and I want to separate the wall number 1, right wall boundary condition, into two different wall boundary condition, I mean wall 1 and wall 2. So I need to make this region the y coordinate of this region is 10 cm and the uh, y maximum coordinate of this region is 20 cm. So let's go back to Fluent. We have a 2D geometry and it's a rectangular as you uh, you see, you saw uh, in the picture. First of all, I need to change my unit, the length unit, from meter to centimeter. So I select centimeter, then close the window. Now I need to make my region. So in the domain and adapt tool. I select Refine. In this window, I select Cell Registers, click on New and then Region. So I have to define my uh, region for separation. First of all, I need a name for my region and I select Job. The option is on Inside. It means that uh, the inside of the created region will be considered. And I need uh, quad shapes, I mean a rectangular, for this purpose. As you can see, the x coordinate of right wall, wall boundary condition are 15 cm. So I need a x minimum which is lower than the 15 cm, so I type 10 cm and 20, which is greater than the 15 cm of the x coordinate of your right wall boundary condition. In the y mean, I select 10 cm and 20 cm for y max, so 
I have a rectangular here and finally I select save and display you can see your new region with the job name so I close the window and OK adaption window now I need to separate my wall boundary crunch but before this I have a quick look on my wall boundary condition I display the bottom you can see the bottom wall boundary condition I use add to graphic for left wall boundary condition you can see it here then I select add to graphics for top wall bunch condition. You can see it here. And finally, I add the right wall bunch condition to the graphics. And you can see the right wall bunch condition here. As you can see, I have four different wall bunch conditions. So I want to separate the right wall boundary condition. So in domain, I use separate, separate tool, and use faces. For this purpose, I use mark in the options. And as you can see here, my job region that I created before, you can see it here. So I select job, and I know. I want to separate the right wall boundary condition with my job region. So I select right and click on separate tool. In the question, you need to answer yes to go proceed for the separation. So I do and click on yes. As you can see, A message will be created and right here. So I close the separate face zoom. And as you can see, another wall boundary condition add to my wall boundary condition here with the name of right 003. Again, I display my wall boundary conditions. Display button, you can see it here left add to graphic you can see it here top wall bunch condition and add to graphics and my right wall bunch condition is different from my initial right wall bunch condition as you can see here with add to graphic you can see this is my right wall bunch condition and another wall bunch condition is right 003 and I can add it to graphics and you can see it here so I can double click on this wall boundary condition and again in right wall boundary condition so I have two new right wall boundary condition that I assign different wall boundary condition to them separately I hope this would be useful for you and thank you very much for your watching.